I wish this nigga would just tell me that he don't like me. <laughs> like, just tell me you don't like me so we could just move on and part ways. But this whole, like... That's because he speaks with his actions and those are essentially his answers. And they noticed at an early age when most of them were collectively told this. So the less that they do is usually on purpose. But if they can weaponize their incompetence and convince you that it's an accident, you might actually believe it. Which subconsciously compels women to actually try harder. I want you to really ask yourself, why would a whole collective of men who've been told to pursue what they want let you figure it out on your own? Why would they lead you astray unless they wanted the opposite in the first place? And why would he keep coming back to you unless he benefits from doing it? And if you're the right girl, I should say in this case the wrong girl, his lack of emotions may benefit him. You may be compelled to do more for him thinking that he doesn't notice you existing, but he does. He notices your initiative, but it's more or less just a tool for him to utilize to pass the time. But the last thing he wants you to do is let you know that he acknowledges it. Because then that would instill the idea that he's invested in you. And that is the last thing on his list that he wants. When he does not see long term, there's no point in investing in you seriously as if you're his girl. Utilizing his incompetence is the best way to get a woman who's already displaying choosing signals to try harder. When he does not want her, but want what she comes with. If telling you what you don't want to hear is practically a self-destruct button on his access to you, doing the right thing will always be the wrong thing to him. You pretty much got your answer if he issues neglect as a means to keep you around. But in many of these cases, you really got to start to ask yourself, how am I expecting to be kept and how am I really being kept? And why is the really being kept still keeping me around? Because you really only receive what you truly know you deserve. Otherwise, it would have been cut off immediately if you lived up to your own standards and expectations. And the man that you really like, they know when your expectations can be tested. Because they usually have an advantage over every other guy you choose to avoid for him. Women in general usually elicit a different energy around their dream guy compared to some average Joe. Men do it too, so there's nothing to be ashamed about. Your crush that you think so highly of that's doing the push and pull with you, that's using you for compensation, most likely had it happen to him. He did not sharpen his game from spitting it to people that were easy, but I digress. He knows when you peep his inconsistencies, which is why he bluntly ignores you when you do. To see how many feet he could take in total, because it'll start with an inch. But if he never speaks on how wrong he is, he knows you'll never be able to correct them. You'll pretty much just learn to tolerate it. And if he never displayed pushback, he'll create the basis of never being checked. He knows once he pretends to act like your feelings matter, he established a whole new rule that he needs to adhere to. He'll know that it'll no longer be, I'm ignoring you. It'll be, what did we speak on last time? What did we discuss last time? Why are you doing this again? The last thing he wants to do is add rules to what's already easy for him. The moment he validates your feelings is the moment he actually has to try. And why would he do that if he doesn't care in the first place? To inevitably, deliberately ignore you, he's going to cut those extra steps in half so he never has to check on self-improvement. Because he has no point in self-improving with somebody he doesn't see himself with. The more you think you have permission to question him, the more comfortable you feel checking him. But he can't let you figure that out.